High level next season. Warrior Summit, all three shows all together till 6 o'clock in Fremont. Glad you're with us. Let's talk about Jonathan Kaminga for a second. And there's two questions to put on the table, which is would you extend him? Are you comfortable with that financial play? Or what if his name ends up in this proposal that is reportedly currently on the table for Lowry Markin, uh, Markinen of the Utah Jazz? Uh, Stein and Goo, let's, let's start with you guys. Um, would you give up Jonathan Kaminga if it meant that Markinen was coming? In a Texas second. And I love Jonathan <laughs> Kaminga, and I love his upside. I'm telling you, it's Operation Get Help for Steph Curry. The clock is ticking right now. <laughs> and I don't have time to watch the flower grow or the seed get planted. <laughs> I need the plant, and that's what marketing is. That's what Paul George was, and it just is what it is. And the scary part about this is you may have to pay Kaminga before you really know what he is. You're paying for the cum. You hope he blossoms. So if you keep Kaminga and there is no trade, awesome. and he never ends up being that, thank you. you oh, my God, that's <laughs> Nightmare on Warrior Street. You know what I mean? Steinie, what would you say? <laughs> About what? <laughs> About what I just said. <laughs> Come on, slow mo. Let's which, go. Uh, which, which aspect? It, w w would you give up Jonathan Kaminga if it meant Markinen was coming? No, no. But it doesn't mean why. Yeah. Be because it's kind of small potatoes in a way. It really is. I don't dislike Markinen. I kind of like Kaminga, but neither player is going to elevate. This team into where everybody, or not everybody, where some people think it can go. But you don't know that. So don't marketing you as your second best player, that all of a sudden catapults you up. In the West. That's, that's my yeah, In the I freaking I hard I time West. I, I, yeah, I, I, I like the that. idea from the standpoint of at least you know who your second best player is if Thank he's on you, the man. team. Well, here's what yeah, I, don't I don't understand. I don't even know who can he I, is right now. Can I ask a question? This is what I don't no. get. You can this is what I don't get. Of course you can. If it's all, Steph Curry, Steph, got to do everything for Steph Curry, everything for Steph Curry, got to maximize this window. Okay, Paul George, I kind of get it. I wouldn't have done it, but okay, Paul George. Marketing's 26. You're acquiring marketing for after Steph Curry. If you think marketing's going to come in here next year and you're going to win a title, that's just preposterous. How many playoff games has he even played? It's preposterous. He's, done, he's played in zero playoff ah, games. Interesting. Zero playoff games. But, but someone who has already been an all-star, has already averaged north of 25 a game, he's done the things you're hoping Kaminga will do. Somebody's seven got to score foot, in Utah. By the way, and he doesn't rebound. Eight, 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 eight a game. Eight a game. Can, you, can you guys name the bigs in the Western Conference? Yeah. Nas Reed, yeah. Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Jokic, AD, Wimbayama, yeah. Sabonis, AD. AD. Zubac is, you know, you laugh at him, but you won't too. It's a double-double. It's a double. Yeah. Lively and Gafford in the West. I'm good off of marking it. I would rather wait until next offseason or the trade deadline because there's always going to be another superstar. That's rumor mill. We heard from Bradley Bill for God knows how long. Yeah. Now it's marking it. Marking is not getting you in the top five in the Western Conference. I'm sorry, folks. Okay, and what but, it's going to cost but Mark doing it, business? At least you have a player that's proven, and he's a guy who you would have proven for five. What? He's proven he's an <laughs> all-star. He's, he's got a bad man. team. He's basically a little mellow ball on the Charlotte Hornets. He's more proven than, than Jonathan Kaminga is. Yes, he is. Jonathan Kaminga is, well, is unproven. Well, I, saw, I saw Kaminga, I saw, well, Kaminga, I saw Kaminga show. He showed he was pretty good with guys who have a championship pedigree. I think that's harder to do on a team with Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. Oh, no, by the way, it's Chris Paul last season to go out there and ball and become the second best player last season. I don't think Markin is doing that. You know, you know what I'd ask you, though? Like, you, even though I get where you're coming from, I'd ask you if, if you said, I'd rather wait. Just stop right there and say, okay, well, how would Steph feel about that? Mm. I would, I, the deadline. That's a big enigma. I've been talking about that for a few weeks now where the best situation for the go to State Warriors was to get under these aprons and fix your books. I was out on Paul George along with Steinmetz. I don't think Paul George, that contract, $59 million in his fourth year, you right. kid me? But the, the Warriors George, were, they felt different. They were in. Yeah, yeah, asking Paul were George in. to be your number two option. We've seen how that story's it, gone well, with the it, L.A. Clippers. If it's Paul George for Wiggins, we were all going to be in, right? Of course. Like, but, that's, but, that was but, the whole equation. The Clippers were going to trade that. him to the Warriors. It was the money set up. Here's the way I look at this. I'm dying on the Kaminga Hill, period. I want to see it play Play itself out one way or the other. Do I like paying what? him 40 million bucks? No. I don't want to pay Scotty Barnes, who's made an all-star yeah. game, and Scotty's done nothing. Okay, I don't want to pay Emmanuel quickly. I don't want to play Franz Wagner. Fred Two, Van Vliet is making 45. Hey, I mean, that's, that's absurd money. money, right? But 
That being said, you owe it to yourself to just see the Kaminga thing out. Now, if it's a Wiggins and marketing deal where I can keep, well, that's a, that's a non-starter. If I'm, you, you know if, I'm well, if I'm Utah, well, I, I've talked to some people. If, I, if I'm Utah, honestly, if I'm Utah, am I going to take Andrew Wiggins and give you so, Laurie Markkinen? It's preposterous. It's preposterous. No, but if you're acquiring John oh, Kaminga, whoever's acquiring him knows. Well, we're going to have to probably pay exactly. him two hundred million dollars. I don't see Danny Ainge going. You know what? This J.K. That's the guy I got to yeah. I won't give marketing 200 million, you know, prematurely, but I'm going to give John the Kaminga 200 million. I have a hard time seeing it. And it's also Danny Ainge. We're dealing with Danny Ainge here. <laughs> He's not going to sit back and say, yeah, sure, let me get Andrew yeah. Wiggins and a couple exactly. picks for marketing. No. I, don't, I, don't, I also don't see how Wiggins comes back into this locker room, given this offseason, oh. the last two years, everything that's gone on. That's a tough. Hey, just forget about everything that happened. Well, they Come have forgotten about everything. He well, missed 41 games, and he came back, and it was like he was never gone for a day. Well, we're they, not allowed to talk about that. But, but you could also but you could also I mean, say I the same thing. I, but I you could also say the same that. thing about Kaminga. His name has been rumored in trades for the last two offseasons. Exactly. How does Kaminga? Kaminga feel about I coming agree. back to the locker room, where he sees another youngster in Brendan Pajemski who made all rookie teams, a fine young player. But Kaminga's thinking, I'm light years better than this guy. I can impact the game much more. Uh, I can impact the game much more uh, critically than Brendan Pajemski. Yeah, he can take a charge here and there. I'll duck on somebody's head and get to 20 in the game. That's what Kaminga's talking about. How can he walk back in the locker room knowing that I'll tell you Jeremiah how. Green's on the podcast talking about, yeah, we almost got Paul George for a couple players. Exactly. So how does he walk back you in the locker room? Forget that, Andrew Wiggins. You get Fremont Bank to load up the Brinks uh, truck. Uh, That's yeah. it. You have a contract extension well waiting for. Am I wrong? Fremont no? Bank, where's the Brinks? No, where's, you have money to know where truck Because is. you're going to have to know before October. 20 whatever it is October 20 something yeah. either you're extending him or you're going to play this thing out and if I know the Warriors they're either extending them or trading them there's no in between they can do but both which is what they do with Jordan Poole the extend and trade which I think is the more likely know. it's a more likely move if you don't make a move now you're going to extend him and then you're going to look to offload Looking him if you're not CBA, sold on him like you did with Jordan the Poole there aren't a lot of teams absorbing 60 or 50 million dollar contracts not anymore it's just not what it it's used true. to be not anymore. the uh, Clippers I, I, would I, rather get nothing <laughs> except I, financial relief than to deal with the Warriors. I feel like we already kind of know what the response would be, but let's hear what it sounds like. The idea of Kaminga being in a deal for Lowry Markinen. how many of you would say yes to that? Yes! Sir? <laughs> oh, wow. Sir? 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 Yeah, we, <laughs> Bobo. We, yeah, no, sir? We, uh, Bobo. Oh, Bobo. Oh, by the way, we're talking about so, Boba uh, no. so, so, so make noise if you would not Boba include Kaminga in a yeah! marketing deal. <laughs> right. Wow. So here's, here's my only issue with that. And Joe, like you said, you're going to die on the I Kaminga am. heel. Yeah. And, I, and, and you know what? I respect that. Yep. But here to me is the spot, the sticking point for the Warriors. Because you guys also brought up Steph Curry's comments that we just heard for the first time. How are you going to reckon with that? The idea that you as fans want to die on the Kaminga Hill and Steph Curry may be over here going, I don't. Yeah. I don't have weight in my future. I'm 36. I have we win now or I leave. I, we're acting like Steph has lived some horrific NBA life. No. They brought in Kevin Durant. No, but the, they what, brought in Andrew Wiggins. But what's, that got, to do with, but what's that got to do with the future? Because my point is, it's not like he's Dame Lillard in Portland where I mean, we just, we've done nothing. We brought in McCollum and sorry, Dame. But he's, he's saying He's won what? four championships. He's made max money. I mean, my God, we're acting like this guy has lived a tortured NBA life. Not he's at all. He's had a great life. But if he wants to leave, it's I, I your birthright to start the season in the Western Conference Finals. Okay. Then like that's, I, then, am I then, wrong, then, Steiny? No, but then you're I willing. Just, you're willing to play that yes. game. Well, well, which I, may I'm lead them. Well, I think the idea. I think the idea that the Warriors are. Acquire Laurie Markin and now steps exactly. on cloud yeah. nine. That, that's what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, for wouldn't a month he, maybe. Wouldn't he rather play with J.K., <laughs> who he knows? Okay, I can run I don't a pick know. and roll with him. I know he's going to get me twenty and five. Two months. He, they, they all admitted it. Two who was months? their second best so player? Why is he saying so then, that? Why? Why, why is he saying that? Markin is not going to. He got to learn to figure out how to play with Markin. He's a big. Who's going to stay on the three point line? 
I don't know if Seth wants to go through that transition. That's all fair. I'm just, why is he saying that now then? Doesn't it feel because Clay's out of here? Because okay. it's Clay's brother's I mean, gone. Like How are you going to get Wiggins out of here? The Bulls are trying to get Zach Levine out of here. You can't get him out of here because nobody wants him. You can't play with everyone. Like, they're learning yeah. this right now with the CBA. They, they lived in existence where they spent more money on the tax than every other team in the league spent on their salaries. I don't want to hear that they did Steph wrong when they've literally spent more money than anyone and got the greatest free agent ever. It's okay. not about them doing Steph wrong. It's about what Steph wants from here going forward. And I do think that if you have a year this year where you don't make any moves and you have another mediocre finish and you're in the play-in, you're not in the playoff, and Steph realizes he's one year closer to being done, he may take action well, cross in his bridge. own career. Then you cross that bridge. And I think that You traded away Chris Mullen. You know what I mean? You've, you've done right. this as an organization. But this is a different time when you've got Steph Curry. Went to six finals. Right. We act like he went to two. No, and and nobody's both. saying that you owe him anything, but he doesn't owe you anything either. So if you uh, want to yeah. keep Steph around, you, you may have to make you, make moves and I'm take action. I'm a Warrior actions. fan. I was a Warrior fan before Steph, and I love him. He's the greatest Warrior I've ever seen. But to think that all of a sudden he's just going to, I can't play here anymore. They've done, they have been unbelievably lucrative on both ends. The Warriors and, and Steph. Steph. Yeah. If he went to any other team, he might not ever have been to a finals. I mean, he could easily have played out Dame Lillard's career. No, but these things are all true, but they're all in the past. Like, you sound willing. Like, you're you're cool if, if he does end up out of town. Yes. Okay, then that's... Yeah, yeah, that's oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh,
brings up a great point. They're not a bad team. They won 46 games. And that's why I said they're not a natural 10th seed if you go with the well, Draymond suspension. Well, if, yeah, if, that, uh, if uh, you're uh, in the uh, uh, I'm using well, your words because no, no, it no. hit me real quick, Willard. <laughs> no, you no, said no. the Warriors to the end. Tell me if I'm wrong or misquote you. The answers to the Warrior problems are not in the building. I did say that, and yes. That, and I'm with you, and I, I did, still I feel that way. And that's why they went after Paul George. Of course. But when did marketing turn into mincemeat? When did he turn into somebody great? He's better than Kaminga, and you know it. Right now he is. Well, we need him. He's morphed into Larry Bird in one offseason. It's wow. incredible. No, it's it's incredible. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's a very right. good player. How many times? Like, honestly, how many games you guys watch Lari Market and play for the we Utah don't even Jazz? Know how to you don't even know how to pronounce his That's name. That's what I'm saying. And now you, you want Market and think he's going to lead us to the Western Conference this, Finals? This like Steph is going to lead you. Think about Steph is going to lead you. He's going to help. You love physicality. You always talk about Olivia Newton-John. Yeah, he's not soft. You always talk about that stuff. All right. He can't get physical in the oh, West man. against guys like When Dodgers, you average 25 Jokic. and 24 points in the league collectively back-to-back -back season. What about when you, you give up 32? What, you tell, what, how's Kamingo on defense? Uh, oh, better, better than marketing. Oh, better. He gets lost. Absolutely oh, gets better lost. than marketing. Just miss me with Kamingo. Kamingo can next. actually guard yeah, we'll guys see. out on the floor. We'll see. When he when hey, he competes. Hey everybody, do, do the Warriors owe something to Steph Curry? Yes. Yeah. 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 We all in the next ten yeah. years yeah. of terrible basketball. <laughs> I mean, look, it, it's it, it is interesting how many people want to do the kumbaya for Clay Thompson, and then while Steph is still here, you suddenly want to play hardball and act like mm. his opinion and wow. his play and his contract don't matter. I mean, they do. You know, Joe, you listed off all the things the Warriors did for Steph. What about what Steph did for the Warriors? Mm. But you can't. What the hell head, is hear this? Me out. You, Are we it, sitting here right now without him? Okay. Are we having a uh, he's been wow. compensated? Yeah. We're I mean, acting like like he has. He's been making Brock Purdy money the last eleven years. He has gotten a max contract. The CBA but, is set up for a reason. But you so keep he, going he backwards. Both ways. But you but, keep going backwards. No, with your what point. I'm going is that to Steiny's point. If you're at the twilight of your career and you want to compete for championships, you cannot soak up in the modern CBA $70 million and then say, oh, my God, we can't get any talent around me because it's really hard. Like, that's one thing that we figured out is that if you're going to make that money, you better be the age of SGA. You better be the age of Edwards because you're the centerpiece. That's why all these teams now have two players making max money. It's about team building. Like, this is there's a reason why the CBA is as feared as it is. But Look how, around the league. How much is Steph Curry, though, worth to the Warriors well, organization? That, that's, and there's the not a number. Chase Center, the revenue, exactly. the, the team store, the, 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 the business office. And it right. doesn't help when you miss with the number two pick. Oh, by the way, James Wiseman, that the, doesn't help. The business office hates the whole conversation for sure. We're presented by Fremont uh -huh. Bank, celebrating 60 years of full-service banking with no compromises. And Fremont Bank is where we are right now. Yeah. 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 Summit number four, the gang is on. Here and coming up next, we will go into the off-season moves that have already been made, get into ideas about Paul George, Clay Thompson, and much more. Warriors Summit on 95.7 The Game.